Hey guys, a long time ago I showed you a concept I had for making an instant T flip flop, and today I've gone ahead and did that. So here we have a fully instant T flip flop, and to prove it's instant, I'm going to set up um, a line of repeaters. And I'll set them all on four ticks. And now you'll see that um, if I press this button, it does indeed turn on instantly. And now for turning off, it turns off instantly too. So that's really cool. Uh, this uses sort of a different way of doing it from my uh, last, the last one I showed you guys. Uh, that one used a rising edge mono stable, but uh, this falling edge just works better. Right, so um, I was fooling around with this thing. I mean, not with this thing. I was fooling around with the instant T flip flops yesterday, and me and Nick Willer stuff kind of had a battle to see who could make the smallest and I won with this design which is 105 blocks it's 3 by 5 by 7 so yeah I also showed it to Deco we were all on Cube Hamster server and he liked it so it's Deco approved as well Alright, now that you've decided where, oh wait, no, now that you've decided where you want the input to be, you're going to place dust here, an upside down half slab, and a block underneath it. Then you want a repeater set to free. And this is kind of like an inverter. And when it's in its when there's nothing when it's not receiving power, it's um, extended. So the input is on when I mean the output is on when the input is off. But the instant you turn on the input, the output immediately turns off with no delay at all. So we're going to have something to send power into this block. Now the reason we need the output from this thing to be inverted is that we're going to use a T flip-flop which is only going to be instant on the falling edge. So if we had, um, if we had the output, um, if we had the output normally it would only activate on the falling edge and that's not exactly what we want. Now you want to place a block with a torch on top and another torch here and then you want a block here with a torch and then a block here with dust, a torch, a piston, then we take the power from this torch and put it here and we just wire up some dust like this. And that's it. So give it a test. And there we have it. Now something else which I want to point out about this repeater is that it can be set on one to make the whole thing reset on the falling edge. I mean on the rising edge instead of um, having to wait for the falling edge. Like with this delay, you can see that this piston only resets on the falling edge. And the problem with having it like this is that 
let's say you update this person, then the thing is just not going to work until you um, find some way to power it again, like this. So I recommend using this because it, it's actually self-fixing this way. Like if we turn it, if we update the piston, it will fix itself the next time you press the button and then it'll be ready for use again. So it's just more reliable. And that was it guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.